Hello class. Um, the video for this week is about the question of how can I handle this responsibly? So the background of the question is that there are three types of problems. Problems that I have no control over, problems that I have some control or influence over, and problems that I control completely. Now, that may be a little touch confusing, so I'd like to give you a couple of examples of what I'm looking for, or what I'm talking about. Ah, politics. Let's talk about politics. It is hopefully the last time that you hear me talk about politics because I don't like the process, I don't like the way it works, and I think that mostly it is just a way to distract us while people that are in charge do what they want to do anyway. So, let's look at politics. So, if there's a lot of so's there, that's kind of strange. Hmm. If you look at Washington, D.C., okay, the center of our nation's political, I would say, well being, but who knows. How much do I, as a voter, as a person, as a human living in Wyoming, have control over the actual activities that go on in Washington, D.C. That's right, none. Not a bit in the world, right? Especially since Wyoming is one of, if not the least populous states, and if they gave cows the right to vote, the population would double in Wyoming. The voting population is. And if they gave it to antelopes, it would like quadruple or whatever. Okay, so does Washington, D.C. actually care about what goes on here in lovely Wyoming? Not much. Sure, we have representatives, Senate, and whatnot that come from Wyoming that are there. But again, how much control are they going to have over the situation? So that is a situation where I think. Yes, you can say that every vote counts, and I I appreciate your idealism, um, but individual votes count for very, very little. Now, if an entire state, say a state like California, was to have an issue or want something particular done, they would probably be heard more than a smaller state like Wyoming, Montana, smaller places, smaller states. Big states, but with less population. So, okay. So, state government. Okay. So, that was kind of the one where I don't really have any control at all. Really. Not me personally. State government. More control. See, this has turned out to be a bad idea. Local government. I have more influence on that situation than I do on national politics because my vote locally counts for a lot more than it does for say a presidential election something like that so I have more influence there and with that I can go to city political events and have more of a direct contact with the people that I'm going to be voting for or not voting for so okay so that's a, more of a situation where I have some influence over, not really necessarily control. So lastly, personally, my personal responsibility of how I act on a day-to-day -day basis, if you would call that my personal politics. And as some of you have been in the workforce for a while, some of you are heading that way, when you get there, be careful. Office politics are rough. Um, backstabbing, you know, not not happy situations. So I have complete control of how I act and how I do things and how I conduct myself. So in that situation I have control over that. So if if I stay concerned about what happens in Washington DC, I'm going to become very frustrated because I can't do anything about it overall. Right. I, yes, I can vote, and and I encourage because that's important. Because voting gives you the right to complain. Um, state or local government, 
I have more influence on that because I can go directly to the people responsible, not necessarily like with a baseball bat in hand, but just going and speaking and, and expressing my concerns about certain issues, they would be a little more likely to listen to me than if I was to go to President Obama or, you know, President Bush before that or whoever, whichever side. So, but that would be something I would have more influence over. And then finally, I can completely control how I react and act towards certain things. So, you might say, well, somebody made me mad. I had to do it because somebody did this. It's not necessarily true. If you control, and this is important, you control your responses to things. In other words, if you're driving on a busy street, like, you know, all the busy streets around here, how busy it gets here, busy, that, and someone cuts you off in traffic, you might say, well, the natural reaction is to uh, wave at that person with a particular finger extended. And that's, you know, a personal response. But you have to decide to do that and direct the arm that you want to use out the window and direct the other fingers to retract while the one finger goes up and whatnot. You see what I mean? You have to decide consciously how you react to things. So. The statement that someone made me angry is not really true. Someone did something to me. Someone acted in a way that I became angry. I chose to be angry. But nobody can make you angry. Now, there's people that can irritate and aggravate, no question. I have a 14-year-old that's been doing it quite well for several years. Um, but my reaction to that is up to me. So. Nationally, I can't really control anything. Locally, I can influence some and help some. I mean, I could even run for a local office, and then I would have more influence, but I still wouldn't have complete control. Complete control is what I have over myself and my own responses. So, hope that makes sense. And now that we're at seven minutes, well over the time I expected, I will sign off. So, later, people.